Now let's move to the next example where the mechanical force is caused by the thermal expansion. This is the gas pipe, gas pipe that contains the gas under pressure and the gas has the temperature of 100 degrees Celsius while the outside area has the temperature of 0 Celsius. The internal pressure of the gas is 1 megapascals. Our task is to calculate the stress distribution in the pipe caused by the thermal expansion and the internal pressure of the gas. Again, let's start with field. To calculate the temperature distribution, naturally we need to simulate heat transfer problem. And to calculate the stress analysis, we need to simulate stress analysis problem. So there should be two problems here. One is the thermal problem to calculate the temperature distribution and the second is the stress analysis problem to calculate the stress distribution. Heat transfer and stress analysis. In fact, there are two ways you can simulate this case. You can run the axisymmetric. You can build the axisymmetric model and simulate the upper half of the cross section, or you can take a look from the side at our pipe and simulate the plane parallel case. I will show you both. So this is the heat transfer problem. You can see this is the cross section of the pipe. In fact, the pipe is very long and I have only the small part of the pipe present in my model. This is the thermal problem, so for each object I should specify the thermal properties. And on the aids, I specify the temperature. On the inner edge I have 100 degrees Celsius. And on the outer edge, I have zero degree Celsius. And on the side edge, I have zero heat flux because there is the same pipe on the left and the same pipe on the right. Now let's take a look at the simulation result. You can see the temperature distribution in the pipe. And to calculate the stress distribution, I need the stress analysis problem. To have the problem coupled 
the stress analysis problem use this same geometry object, geometry model. So when creating the stress analysis problem here, I manually specify the geometry model file from the heat transfer problem. Also, I have specified the link so the temperature field will be imported from the heat transfer problem to the stress analysis. To specify the link, I open the link tab, choose the data type, found the source problem, this one, and then press the add button to add the link. Now let's take a look at the simulation result. I oh, want moment more. In stress analysis, you should specify the mechanical properties for the each object. Here you can see the mechanical properties of the pipe, and you should specify follow to the loads tab and specify the thermal expansion coefficient, so you will be able to simulate the thermal stress. And the reference temperature will be imported from the heat transfer problem. Now let's take a look at the simulation result. Again you can see the deformed shape. The deformation is caused by the thermal expansion and by the internal pressure. I will switch on the color map to see the displacement. Now that was the axisymmetric formulation. But the same problem could be simulated as the plane parallel, if we take a look from the side. Let me show you. This is the side view of our pipe. Again, this is the cylinder and in thermal problem, I specify the thermal properties for each object. Inside, I have the temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, and outside, I have the temperature of 0 degrees Celsius. And again, I added the symmetry X and symmetry Y axis, so we will be able to fix our pipe in stress analysis problem. Let's take a look at the result. This is the temperature distribution in the pipe. The same temperature distribution we saw in the axisymmetric case. We saw only this small portion of the model. Now let's open the stress analysis problem. Again, the stress analysis problem shared the same geometry model with the heat transfer problem, and this allows us to set the link and import automatically import the temperature field from heat transfer to stress analysis. Now let's take a look at the result. This is the deformed shape of the pipe caused both by the 
internal pressure and the thermal expansion. And I will switch on the displacement. Now let's compare the simulation results of both problems. The plane formulation and the axisymmetrical formulation. You can see that the results are pretty much the same. So this way you can verify calculation. And this corresponds to the small part 